Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and good morning to all of you. As I thought about what I might say today, I thought about the moments in my life that I will simply never forget. Now, the vast majority of those are private. They're moments that involve myself and my wife, Lauren, and our family, my mom and my dad and my brothers, some of our friends. But there are moments in all of our lives that are shared with everyone. Everyone knows where they were the moment those two bombs went off five years ago. Everyone. It's a private moment for those who are directly connected to it, but it becomes this enormous shared experience because of the magnitude of the villainy that was associated with it and the carnage it created. And for the last five years, we continue down this path of private moments and public experiences. For those who lost someone, every day is a constant reminder of that. For those who are terribly injured, every day is a struggle to find normalcy and positivity and a future that can mitigate or stamp out the worst elements of what took place. And there are heroes everywhere. There were heroes that day. It's been documented over and over again, but we should never forget it. Without the heroes, that day could have been so much worse than it was. And the heroes represented in many respects the very best of Boston, the very best of the Commonwealth, and the very best of mankind. And we can all argue, and I would, that the heroes won. But for those people who lost someone that day, or in the subsequent days, of the events that surrounded the incidents themselves, that's pretty cold comfort. What I would say to them, is having had a chance to watch them do all they can to find purpose and hope and possibility in the wreckage of the events of that day. You are heroes. And you're heroes to each other, and you're heroes to all who've had a chance to hear your stories. And the same goes for those people who were damaged by the events of that day, who have found a positive path forward and a way to build a new life, a different one, but a good one, on the heels of that tragedy. Five years, five years of private lives lived through an enormously public event and a shared experience. 
And despite it all, I don't think anybody would dispute that there were far more heroes, far more courage, far more steely strength that came out of all that than anybody could have ever imagined in that moment, those two moments of terror. Boston is a great city. It was always a great city. The marathon was a great race. It will always be a great race. But both were forever changed by the events of that day. And we should all remember that the vast majority of the people, almost everyone who was part of that experience, stood up when it mattered most for each other, for the person standing next to them, for the person who's run for five years since then on behalf of a cause or a community, to find the positive and the hope and the possibility this day forever going forward will always be about. God bless.